All right, so today we have a bright blue sunny day, high pressure, not a single cloud in the sky. If I had to concentrate on two lures, two poles to take with me to beat the bank on a pond early summer mornings, that's gonna be a topwater frog and a fluke. Now, for the topwater frog, I'm gonna throw a black spro junior because the you know smaller size it's gonna catch you probably more fish. It's gonna catch you the big some big fish too, but it's gonna catch you more fish. fish. And I always go with black because black in the, the when it comes to the color spectrum, it just it shows up better on sunny and on cloudy days compared to other colors. And so Ooh. I'm just gonna stick with the black. It's my it's my go-to color and it works pretty well. It's probably one of my favorites. I know he was on. Oh my god. I think he got off. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. That was a first. I really can't believe that just happened. Like, holy crap. All right, that was it for spot number one. Throwing a, a black frog. Yeah, I want to say it's a, it's a Spro Junior Black Frog. Probably my favorite color to throw. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite color frog to throw? I love throwing a black frog. I think if I went any other color, it'd probably either be brown or white. Haven't really put much thought into it, but what's your favorite color frog to throw? Leave a comment down below. We're going to go to spot number two, maybe three and four. Let's we'll see how we do. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This fish is a predator. Apex predator, my boy. <laughs> First cast. He ain't barely even moved it. That was fun. Let's do it again. My second bait to throw would be a Zoom Super Fluke. It is a soft plastic jerk bait that I always fish weightless. When you fish it weightless, it's got some weight to it, especially if you use a knee WG hook and not 
like a kind of a thicker EWG hook. The word can't come to my head. I am completely mind blank right now. But you fishing weightless, you can do little twitches. You could do big twitches. You know, you can fish it very erratically, or you could do very you know subtle. You just twitch, twitch, twitch. But the key about this bait is that it is a subtle presence. Like the moment you stop working it, it just kind of stops and it'll have a slow fall rate and it'll just sit there and tease the fish right in front of its face. And so, and it's not, it might have a lot of erratic motion, but it ain't got no rattles. It's definitely something a lot different than the fish see every single day. And it's, it's something that's really good for those high pressure days. Some kind of like, something subtle. And I guarantee, I can Curious. almost guarantee you that this zoom oh, super fluke will catch you no. the biggest fish of the day. What? What? How? That was a decent hook set. He wanted that one. Nice two pounder. Okay. Uh, nope. Oh. Really? But he's still here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look, I still see him. <laughs> well then, what a release. <sighs> All right. So, high pressure days, on a bank, beating the bank, fishing those ponds. I'm gonna stick with a topwater frog and a zoom fluke those are my two choices i would have to say i did bring more than one but those would be my main two that i actually concentrated on and that i knew i was going to get bit on the other ones were just what if options i always carry what if options with me when i'm beating the bank or i'm out fishing on the boat always got to have a what if but those are my two go-to's for high pressure water days <laughs>